Hello, Rams fans. Oh, come on. Go. Hello, Rams fans. John Anderson here on a beautiful, balmy Thursday in San Angelo, Texas. I have uh, two of Brownwood's finest young gentlemen at the Brownwood Connection at Angelo State, Seth Owen, freshman pitcher, Graylin Brown, redshirt junior pitcher. Uh-huh. Man, you've been here forever. Not too long. So, uh, do you remember your freshman year still, Graylin? Yes, I do. What was special about your freshman year? Uh, we won conference and I got a ring. Oh, yeah, I like that. Let's see how you work. Do you have any, uh, any, any advice for Seth being, you know, your brother, your little brother from Brownwood in his freshman year? The advice would be, you know, just work hard, stay well-minded, you know. Well-minded? Yep. You got good grades and you use that sentence? Hey, you got I'm, I'm, Come trying, on. I'm trying to switch it up. No, stay well-minded, uh, work hard, work on things you need to get better at, and just become, become the guy that we want you to be. All right. What, hey, what kind of guy is that? Because, I mean, he's a stud pitcher. Okay. Because he's a suspect dude over here. Yeah. Okay. He's eyeballing me again. He's nervous. I don't like nervous. when you guys are all tall and look down at you and stuff. You have I that problem, it. don't you? Yeah, I'll, everybody. Yeah, that's brutal. Seth, uh, again, you're from Brownwood, Texas, and you wear awful shorts. Please get a look at these shorts. You, you can't you can't come to an interview with with me wearing baby blues with I didn't know I was doing this. off orange stripes on the side of them. That's terrible. They're red stripes, not orange. And now you're gonna disrespect me? No. If this wasn't on camera, I'd slap me in the mouth. <laughs> okay, uh, Seth, what 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 has been a bit of a big change from high school last year coming up to Angelo State this year? Um, one of the biggest things I'd say is the skill level difference from high school. And to college and uh, now I'm gonna I'm also wondering West Mantu can we get a close up on his beard because the skill level of your beard is still in high school your beard needs to jump up you know get that get that get that college feel you may be a few like salt pepper gray streaks in there okay if you're a little patchy right now uh, you look like Cliff Clavin you know what that is yeah you can look at uh, some old episodes of Cheers he had a patchy beard uh, now Graylin we're back over to you Okay. You're you're pretty much Grayland. Uh, you're pretty much uh, Brownwood's number one son. <laughs> I mean, we went up there last year to Underwoods, and there was people waiting in the parking lot. Does it th does it put a lot of pressure on you, knowing that uh, everyone in Brownwood thinks you're going to either the NFL or the MLB? <laughs> well, I mean, I kind of gave up football a long time ago, so NFL is out of the question. Now, hold on a second. <laughs> Not up there, it isn't. <laughs> I, st I stopped in. I heard people talking about Graylin Brown could play on Sundays. Is that true? No. <laughs> Man, you, you're not giving me any ammunition for the locker Too room. Too short. I see some D-backs that can really play. Yeah, I was a quarterback, though. Who cares? You can't be a quarterback at 5'5". Five five. So Edelman was a quarterback, too, wasn't he? Yeah. Now he's, he's a wide receiver. True. So you're, just, you're just soft mentally. And you're talking about being well-minded? I am well-minded. Mentally soft right now. Nope. All right. <laughs> uh, Seth, now getting hitters out is a lot different because in high school you throw hard and you have a good breaking ball. So uh, have you noticed a big difference like throughout the lineup, having a difficulty getting you know, even the seven, eight, nine hitters out in scrimmages and whatnot? Uh, yes, because throughout the whole entire lineup, the hitters are – there's not much drop in their hitting skill. So – you don't have in high school. You have your top four hitters in the top or top four spots, and then it dwindles down in the bottom five. Throughout the college lineup, is just consistently the same for that for the most part. So with your with your pitching, and I tried to step up your game and get them out. What, what would you see as something that you've really had to work hard on this year? Uh, keeping the ball lower in the zone. Absolutely, man. See, now you're speaking like a true professional right there. You still nervous? A little bit. Okay, because now it's going to get more nerve-wracking. We're going to give you four words. you got to throw them in a sentence. The words. I'm going to give you some good ones today, too, because you're a little bit nervous. And I want to see, you know, you're going to the big leagues, too. You guys are going to be pitching together for the Rangers, right? Brownwood Connection? Hopefully. Okay. We're going to go with Booger, Dreadlocks, Stampede, and Sprinkle. Go 
ahead. And that right there, what do we call that? An F. Yep. Same four words. Go ahead. Booger, sprinkle, stampede, and dreadlocks. While I was playing with my dreadlocks, I had a main booger whilst the team stampede the field. <laughs> I forgot the last word. Oh, Graylin. Gosh. <laughs> you were trying, yeah. man. You were trying to get some tough words. I was. Uh, and, and you and you and you uh Singular, singularized a plural there with Stampede. I did. I did. Um, that, was a, that was a pretty tough word today. He was pretty tough words. I was trying was. to get Seth, but then he just straight. I know he gave it to me. He just straight backed out and handed the ball. Selfish. Yeah, it was bad. Well, Rams fans, again, the weather's tuning up out here. Come out and see us sometime.